Oh, yes. As you can see upstairs here, like, right here. John Wick 2. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, I was worried a bit because considering franchises with action stars in there, like Taken and everything, yeah, Taken 2 was not as good as the first one. Um, John Wick 2, I cannot say well, it's, it's better than the first one. But it's it's really really good. It's seriously mind-boggling good. Uh, first let's talk about the freaking audience. Yeah, they were like the room was like ninety percent filled with teenagers, and I mean like the teenagers variety of like the guys who play Counter Strike guys. Like every time I'm in this movie, somebody gets killed or gets a headshot or whatever. <laughs> like everybody around me like says headshot headshot or. That's a kill, that's a kill. Oh, that guy is dead. Okay, after a while, it got really freaking annoying because I was like, without a, a people were like, shut, shut the fuck up, I'm sorry. This is seriously, okay. <laughs> they should have like in this movie, like for those people that were, like around us, have like a headshot counter and a kill counter <laughs> on the bottom of the screen. Because I think those things will just explode. How many people will get shot or killed in this movie? Because this is one of the brutal movies you ever see. This has more headshots in there than... God, I don't even know which movie has more headshots in there. Uh, let's talk about the second thing. I had to look this up at IMDb, and considering... I didn't even believe it because somebody told me Keanu Reeves is in his 50s or something. I was like, are you freaking seriously kidding me? <laughs> Have you seen the dude? <laughs> he looks almost like exactly the same like he was in his late 30s. Uh, yeah, kind of late 30s. I kind of want to know his fucking beauty secret or something. Because he looks like 50 going <laughs> 38 or something or 39. He looks really freaking good for his age. I mean, really good. Uh, I don't know if he does his own stunts. I didn't see any stunt guy, like a stunt double, I didn't see it, so I pretty much assume that he does his own little stunts. A little. <laughs> the fight's in alone, it's not little, it's like a big figure fight. Um, yeah, he really looks freaking young. 50. Okay, I'm, re I'm going way too far <laughs> about his age, like obsessing again. Wow, great. Um, yeah, this movie was really good. It even brought like Lawrence Fishburne back to get Keanu Reeves, like the back in the days of the Matrix movies, they had great chemistry together, like you see them two together and it's like, yeah, they have been reunited, they have the, like the same chemistry, they have some, uh, it's really freaking good, they, you can tell they're like buddies, you can seriously tell they're like buddies on the screen and behind the screen they're really like close, no, close than any guy, with a guy I can get. Um, yeah, this movie is really good. Seriously, I don't want to spoil too much, but I was worried about in the trailer that they pretty much showed most of the stuff that's gonna happen. Um, yeah, the house burning and everything, and fuck, I, I'm fucking glad that he's got a new, he's got a dog and everything. Like, holy crap! Yeah, in the first movie, whoever saw the first movie knows about the freaking dog. So yeah, this movie. As a dog in it, and I don't want to spoil too much about it, but it's it's, it's really good. Seriously, the action in this is just ramped up to like an eleven or twelve. Seriously, badass action. Uh, it looks good. Cinematography is great. Script looks really good. Solid. It's a solid action movie. Only problem I had was the ending. <laughs> we should go. In. I don't want to go into too much of detail in there, but it literally has a setup for the next movie. And uh, pretty much no, well, considering Ken Reese being quiet about John Wick 3. Come on. If you're not sure about giving us a third movie, don't give us that ending. That was like an ending like, oh, and now we stop the movie and you have to see part 3 to see what's going to happen next. Because the first movie it ended really, really well. It, it rounded up most of the stuff, most of the stuff. It's but part term but this one yeah as one was good about 
indeed it sets up the next movie and I'm kind of worried because considering what they've done with the Resident Evil films the Underworld films oh my god yeah I, I really hope I seriously hope that they don't go the same route as the Underworld uh, movies because see, that, that, that movie is just going way too long it's it's a franchise which goes really good but yeah again stop so I hope like after the third movie they stop when it's on a high note um yeah I don't want to spot too much the action scenes are really brutal they really are fucking brutal they're good in a degree of like oh my god sometimes a bit overkill but yeah it's the same as the first one you know the first one had a like overkill factor uh there was a like a female bad guy Amber Rose uh, I think her name was I have to look it up on NDB I don't know how to pronounce it I probably completely ruined her name and everything she was great she was really good she was like kind of terrifying and sometimes but she was freaking good uh I don't have anything to say about the the actors the action is pretty solid the scenes in there like the the club scene and everything yeah they're <laughs> Oh my god, it's like also the challenge, like anyone who killed kill John Rick has a freaking prize or something, it's, it's, it's like a carnival, and they all like go against him, it's like, okay, is this gonna turn like Kill Bill or something <laughs> with guns? That's basically my freaking thought, look, it's like, okay, this, are they like homage Tarantino right now? But they didn't go there, it, uh, they didn't go all the way with that, thank god. Uh, soundtrack was really good. Like the soundtrack was really freaking good. Like the, the music and everything, and the notes, you know, the clock, the music and everything, the electro music was really good. Uh, filmed well. I think the same director. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to check that later. Probably wrong or probably right. I don't know. It's a good movie. It's a freakishly really good movie. If you want to saw an action movie with not too much thinking involved, not too much big plot threads and big cliche things like oh you have to think about it oh it's symbolism or something no this is a straightforward action movie it knows what it is and it gives you it so yeah it's, it's a good movie check it out Ken Reeves does a really phenomenal job I don't know what he does with his regimen and everything because he is over 50 and 50 years old he looks really good he looks freaking I was like is this for real? Does he use Botox? Is this CGI or something? Did he use like a CGI model from, I don't know, Matrix Reloaded? Okay, God, I hope that they didn't use that one because that was bad. But this is phenomenal. Uh, Ken Reeves is n known to be physical action star because he does most of his own stunts and fight scenes and you can tell he's tired after this. So probably, like after the first John Wick, he did Knock Knock or something, which is, I think, People are saying like, okay, I want to take it down a notch, like recover from his wounds and from, from his stunts and everything. And uh, probably after this one, I think pretty much he will do the same thing. Like they're going to be drama or something low key for him not to be physically involved in movies. Uh, yeah, launch first film was great as ever. I, I don't have, I don't know any movie that's bad with him in it. Sometimes his dialogue, sometimes it's really cheesy, but he goes with it. Yeah, Lawrence Fishman knows when the dialogue goes a bit cheesy factor, but he's going full trolling with it. He's like, okay, it's cheesy as hell, but I'm going with it. He makes the best out of it as it can. Um, yeah, it's a good movie, solid movie. It's about one or two hours, two hours and ten minutes long. So be prepared to sit a little bit longer. Uh, trailer time, yeah. I'm gonna do like a bit of trailer time. Uh, every time I show previews or trailers from like upcoming movies, I'm gonna talk about them too a little bit. Uh, they showed the trailer from Logan again, which again I've seen it about 15 times, uh, maybe 20. I don't know. I'm not even counting. This one was also good. Had more good characters in there. It looks good. I can't wait for next week because I'm gonna see that. But yeah, if that if that movie bombs or something, Logan. I'm serious I haven't died with the movie going audience because this looks amazing. The Logo movie looks really good too. Um, yeah, it's sad that Hugh Jackman is leaving again. Maybe he comes back. Let's hope. Let's freaking hope. Uh, didn't have any other 
trailers uh, in front of it, just one. Um, that's about it, that's just one trailer. It's weird, but yeah, usually that's like three or four or something. Um, yeah, this is about it for trying to make. Just see this movie if you like good action movies, brutal action movies, and uh, if you have enjoy like take a notepad and every time when somebody has a headshot, one headshot or one kill, and you, sh you should make a drinking game out of this, you know? Every time they do the headshot, take a shot. <laughs> Literally. Uh, it's a good movie, solid movie. Can't wait for part 3, and uh, I think I checked Twitter. They were teasing part 3, they're teasing it already. And it's going well, so I'm hoping they're doing part 3. Um, yeah, I don't have anything to say to this movie, just check this out. I don't want to spoil it, it's a really good movie. This time, the animals survive. Thank God for that. Um, yeah, it's a good movie, just check it out. Um, and a quick update. Tomorrow, no wait, this is a uh, Friday. Um, Sunday I'm making the vlog from Boston Comic Con 2017. I'm gonna film it on that day and during the course of Monday and Tuesday I'm gonna edit it with some music and everything. So that'll be up on, I think, Wednesday. Uh, we're seeing Logan next week too, so you get a vlog from that too. And that's about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I don't have anything planned, big. So if you like this video, like, subscribe. If you want more of this, please feel free to like. Hit a like button if you want more of this. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos and you want to follow me. Be seeing you, goodbye, and just watch this movie. It's fucking good. Just watch this fucking movie.